Hey there, I'm Jensen. Now today is the first alert day for the threat of some severe storms that are set to roll in, well, right now and maybe even later tonight. So what do we have to look forward to? You know, I was wondering the same thing. So I sat down with first alert meteorologist Diane Phillips to see what's ahead to get you in the loop. We have a first alert day today. Um, tell us a little bit more about the timeline and what we can expect. It is uh, this afternoon and evening that we're really gonna have to be weather aware today because we already, um, as we're recording this, have thunderstorms that are rolling through. It's a pretty long line, a strong line. Um, so it's mainly through about 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. that we will have the chance for seeing these stronger storms push through Northwest Ohio and even Southeast Michigan can also see some stronger storms as well. So what is the biggest threat? So our biggest concerns and threats from this round of severe weather is mainly damaging winds. So already this morning we had damaging winds and we're gonna continue to see that threat hold. We'll also have some heavy downpours. It's very muggy outside, so we just have a lot of moisture in the air. So when these storms roll through, Mother Nature is just gonna be able to almost wring out a cloth and that's why we're gonna have all these heavy downpours. Wow, and I know last night I was woken up because that was quite a light show that we had last night. Are we going to see the same sort of thing with this line of storm? Yeah, so it, it will be very similar. We plan on there being quite a bit of lightning already with the storms that we've had. We've seen a lot of lightning and uh, we'll continue to, to monitor that. Of course, every thunderstorm by definition has lightning in it. So we will, um, if you do have that thunderstorm, make sure you head inside and seek shelter there. So um, what would you tell people to do? Like what, what actions should we be taking right now? So the best thing to do right now is to make sure that you are prepared to get weather alerts. If you're under a warning, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you seek shelter inside and that you are um, away from windows and doors. We don't have any uh, tornado warnings. The tornado threat is very, very low with these storms. So if you do have a tornado, of course, you wanna to head to the lowest level of your home. But again, it's a very, very low threat with these. So just stay inside, avoid a water. If you're sitting poolside trying to, uh, to beat the heat, make sure your head indoors and stay away from those windows and, uh, and, and doors as well. What areas are you thinking might be the hardest to Really everyone needs to be weather aware. Um, Northwest Ohio is probably gonna receive um, a good chunk of, of our severe weather as this line because it is pulling further south. But mainly again, everybody needs to be weather aware and it's not, oh, it hit this town and it missed this town. Uh, more than likely, everybody's gonna at least see some thunderstorm activity. Now, I thought I heard in your forecast earlier that there there could be more storms coming tonight. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what we could expect? Right, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because the storms that we have this afternoon are really gonna determine what we see later on tonight because a lot of the storms that we have now, they're gonna take up all the good ingredients for making storms. So if we do have the stronger storms like we are experiencing, then that may soak up more of the ingredients to where there just won't be a lot left over for those storms tonight. So we're still monitoring because we have to really see how this first event plays out for us. So if you tune in to uh, WT 11 at six o'clock that's when you'll see a good um, idea of where what we're sitting from this first round and then if you tune in tonight again at 11 uh meteor or chief meteorologist chris vickers will have a better look at what that evening storm potential is going to be because that's by then where we're going to be shifting our focus to to stay up to date on all of our latest weather coverage check out the link in the description of this video but that's all i have for you today if you liked this video hit that like button and of course subscribe to our youtube channel i'm jensen and now you're in the loop